Okay, so we're going to attempt to paint some patterns on the boat. Now this is the second attempt, because the first one went wrong. So I've rubbed it down and re-sprayed a bit of white over it, and it doesn't matter about this uh, little bit of red on there, because we're going to put red back on again. Now I've taped it up to save a bit of time, so we've got a couple of lines going around, which when we remove them will end up white lines, all the rest will be red. Um, and then we've put some uh, tape in between um, here like this. Now what we've done, and I'm going to quickly show you here, is I've got some 25mm tape and I've cut it 12mm and 13mm. So I have a 12mm, a 12mm and a 13 in between. And then when you take away the 13mm, you then have a 13mm gap um, and then you can cut some 12 or 12 and a half millimetre once you've sprayed it and then put this over and it's important to try and keep um, oh, just get that one in there like that is to try and keep it actually on the red and leave a little tiny bit of red either side so that when you do the second spray um, you, you'll get a slight overlap on, these, on this red part here that's important because if you went too tight should we say really tight like so um, if that one was slightly over then you'd end up with a white line going down there which is what you don't want so that's what we've done on here so we've got our 12 millimeters here all the way down and all the way through the front and we have 13 millimeters in between so now we're going to have a go at spraying this um, we've got to put some lines on it I'll do the lines now and then uh, I'll show you what I'm going to do with the lines. Okay, so we've now marked out all the lines. The mistake I made last time, and another one of them, was I drew pencil lines down there. And doing that, uh, what happened was when I removed the tape, where I'd done the pencil line, it stuck into the paint and uh, destroyed it basically. So this time I've got a felt tip and I've just touched some little dobs where I want the lines to be. And also the width, the, the width of the lines is important. Because this is 12mm and 13mm, we have 25mm there, we want 25mm between the lines. So that we'll have uh, one line then the other. So you'll, you'll see that in a minute when I'm spraying. So we've marked it all now and uh, we're ready to actually put some paint on. Right, another little tip here, we get these from Tesco's, um, generally have them for me tea, and I'll get them cleaned up, and uh, they're really handy because the masking tape just fits over them. You've got a nice lip round there, which stops them from getting marked up, and just drop them over there, dead easy. So a good thing for putting the masking tape on. Okay, so the paint we're going to use is a uh, Ford... Regency Red Metallic. Now I've decanted this out of some spray pack, uh, cans and that's basically how much paint you get out of a spray can. This is a 100mm bottle. Um, you let it settle down a little bit, put a little bit of thinners with it and uh, it's nice to spray with. So that's what we're going to use to spray the, um, the boat. Okay, this is all trial and error obviously. Um, and what we need to do is just give it a nice light little spray in between the lines. So we're going to go through. bit heavy there.
Something like that. And then what we gotta do then is try and get as straight as we can and come down where the lines are. Well, I'm going to carry on and I'll come back afterwards. I need also to put a little bit along this edge here. Not too much, just a little bit. So I'll come back in a while. Okay, so there's the first one. Um, it's been sprayed and we sprayed down the lines. Now basically, what I want to do now is I want to remove these bits of tape, these ones here, and then... The problem I had last time was the tape was sticking to the to the uh, paint, so I'm going to take it home and put it by the radiator and try and dry the paint out properly. Okay, so I removed um, some of the tapes that cross over, and um, as I say, now we're going to try and dry it out before we go any further. Now what we're trying to do here is to create some light spots and some dark spots so that's the idea to create some sort of an illusion afterwards what i should have done was spent more time trying to get rid of this paint that was from the previous time because this paint once you paint over it again it's starting to see little bits come through where it's darker so it's a bit of a pain but yeah it still might work out okay okay so it's been dried out now and uh, we're back again and we've covered the um, the red parts with um, tape. Uh, this is uh, I've cut this at 12 and a half mil. As I said before, it's important that you can just see slight bits of red either side. So it's all covered, and we've put our, um, our lines back in again. This time we're going to get we're going to go over again with a light coat, and then we're going to go down in between the lines with our heavier coat rather than actually on the lines. So I'll get my tools sorted out and uh, give it a little start. Right, so we'll give it another little go. See what happens. Hopefully I'll be able to keep it away. Try some lines. And as before, I want to carry on now. I'm going to come back a bit later. Right, okay, so we've been over it now, um, all of it, and um, this is the result so far. So what we're going to do now is uh, we're going to remove all the tape, and then again take it home to dry. And if it does come out okay, which I won't be sure yet, um, then I shall probably give it a light lacquer over the top to try and protect it a little bit until uh, the rest of the boat's painted, because we've got loads more stuff to put on it. So um, there you are. Okay, so we've now taken off the, um, the masking tape. We've had a few little issues uh, with the white lines showing through, as we mentioned, and they're a pain. 
but I've touched them up a little bit so hopefully they'll be alright and we had also a little issue where we was removing some of the um, fine line masking tape it took a bit of paint off which I hope it didn't but it did so we can touch all that up and uh, we'll have a little look around now and uh, there's the, the front or the bow and then we come round and uh, there's the stern it looks quite good I think and uh, what I'll do is I'll um, give it a touch up and then uh, give it a, a clear varnish just to try and stop it from marking up so there we go